So this is the Osmo Pocket 3. And it's not hard to fall in love with a camera like this. Whether it's for quality content creation, vlogging, traveling, product reviews, and so much, much, much more. And with its one inch sensor and the fact that it's on a three axis gimbal and gives you great stabilized low light video and it just fits in your pocket as well as connecting to a true wireless microphone. And maybe you didn't know this, but I'm actually filming with the Pocket 3 right now. Check this out. <laughs> this thing is so amazing. There's so much to show you. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. Mr. Black. By the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. And if you're new here and you like that kind of stuff, don't be a stranger to the channel. And I'll put links to everything down in the description, plus a surprise link. Also, a huge thank you to you guys helping this channel grow. Companies are now sending me their gear and DJI did send this to me to share my thoughts. This is the Creator Combo, which includes a really nice carrying bag with a well laid out internal design and dividers for all the attachments. There's also a hard case protective cover. And the main star of this is the Pocket 3 in all of its glory right here with the one inch CMOS sensor. It has 10 bit color, fast focus, and it sits on a three axis gimbal with Active Track 6.0. And also has a beautifully big two inch touch screen, which works so well and does a lot, which we'll circle back to. And it only has a record button and a joystick on it. And on the side, you have a slot for a micro SD card. It comes with a battery handle to give a longer battery power to the Pocket 3, which does not have a removable battery. But I will say I've been recording with this a lot, shooting with it all day, and especially with that battery handle, I've actually never ran into any low battery situations. And it just clamps right onto it, and there's a quarter thread mount on here. You also get a little handle that clips on, giving you a quarter thread mount, and you get a little tripod, a wrist strap, a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. It also includes a wide angle lens that will pop on your camera magnetically and just helps you get much more in your shot in case you need it. And it's cool that the protective case has a little magnetic spot to hold it, as well as a black pro mist filter. It'd also be awesome to see some other ones like anamorphic or macro that would look awesome. And there are also built-in microphones all around here, which actually sounds like this. This is with the internal microphones, but with the creator combo, it does come with the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, which sounds amazing. But look at this design. This thing is really cool. I love this transparent look to it and this really big microphone on the top. It just sounds really good. And as soon as you turn on the microphone, it connects right away and it shows you the battery status. But it also has internal recording as a fail safe in case there's any interference coming between you and the camera. Plus there is a slot for external microphones. So maybe if you're filming something and you wanna use like a boom microphone, you could actually just hook this onto that boom microphone and just wirelessly connect it right to your Pocket 3. And it also does come with a wind muff that you can actually just pop on right in that auxiliary hole and it does a great job check this out basically i wanted to do a, like a wind test because um, i'm walking to the front of the ship and it's very windy so if you can hear me right now i mean you should be able to hear me but like if the wind is gone that's gonna be miraculous but check this out we'll go to the front Woo. so how is this wind muff cutting down on that noise one two three hit it and it goes back to me so here I am here, and I love this thing, man. I'm, I really do. Like, I'm gonna double tap my face so it tracks me. So no matter where I move like this and hold it, it's gonna capture me. Oh, you can see how windy that is? Oh my gosh. If you, if this is blocking the wind, I'm gonna be very impressed because it is really windy. The design is amazing. It starts up so quickly and you're just ready to go. The touch screen is buttery smooth and their DJI menu system and settings is just laid out perfectly. You swipe down for settings and there's a lot going on here like custom presets, telling it how you want it to start up when you rotate the screen, active track selfie, which is the coolest, what your screen does when you rotate it after it's on, the gimbal rotation speed, where you have slow, default, and fast. You can also set gimbal modes like follow, tilt, lock, and FPV. And I love how they give you little descriptions on how you would use that right there. So in case you didn't know about it, it gives you good examples on when you would use it. Plus you can get into more settings where you can customize up to two wireless microphones. You can put it in wearable mode. You can adjust the joystick speed and just so many more settings to play with. Okay, so when you swipe up, you can get the resolutions going up to 4K 60 in regular video mode and 4K 120 frames per second, which is four times slower 
or 1080p and 240 frames per second, which is eight times slower, and that's in slow motion mode. And I love the way that this looks. This looks so good. You can swipe to the left for pro settings, and this is where we can get deeper into this. But quickly, you can change the exposure, white balance. You can add glamour effects. You can change from normal color to HLG 10-bit or DL Log 10-bit, which gives you the ability to color correct it later on, just giving you many more colors. Then you have image adjust, where you can add or reduce your sharpness levels, or you can add or lower the noise reduction too. And then you have this. This is the focus mode, where you can have single focus, which is perfect for capturing motionless subjects, and then continuous focus, which is good for capturing moving subjects. And the one I love to use the most is this one right here. This is the product showcase mode, which will focus on subjects in the foreground or closer up, and then you'll get that blur behind you. So like if I hold this up, just focuses so fast on that. You can also click the microphone icon here and adjust the built-in microphones, the noise reduction, and you can even pick which mics you wanna focus on because there are microphones all around it. Plus, when you have your wireless mics connected to it, you can adjust the gain and other settings here. Swipe to the right for playback and view all the videos and pictures you've been taking. And on the touch screen, you can actually tap to change the focus right there. You can double tap to start active track. So you pick a person or a pet or even just an inanimate object. And it has like automatic thing where it won't, like if, if you move the thing, it won't so much. It's a gimbal, yeah. Yeah, that's so good. I want one, I need one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! You can tap the lower right to switch to selfie mode, but that can also be achieved by triple tapping the joystick. And while we're at it, if you double tap that joystick, it just puts everything back to front and center. And you see this little spot over here on the right of the screen. So you can tap that, and then when you push the joystick in and up or down, you can zoom in or zoom out, and it is a digital zoom. But if you wanted to get a closer up shot like that, or just get more of a cinematic zoom, you can do it that way. But when you're out of that mode, you can push the joystick in. It does a tilt lock, just giving you like perfect jig shots if you want to have like a big like reveal shot. The bottom left is where you can touch it to get different shooting modes like panorama where you can have a full 180 degree panoramic picture or a three by three which gives you like nine different shots and it will stitch them all together. Then you can get photo mode which is easy to take selfies and then there's video mode and low light video mode too. And when I've been playing back the footage of the low light shots that I've been getting I'm like blown away. Like this looks really, really good. This is something that I'd need a bigger camera and a gimbal and the fact that I can have such a tiny little device that fits in my pocket to get this kind of quality just blows my mind. And then you have slow mode, which is actually really cool. I mean, 120 frames per second in 4K, which is four times slower, and then check out eight times slower at 1080p. And then in time-lapse mode, you can set it to hyperlapses, and this is where you can get fast motion shots. You can put it in time-lapse mode, where you do have some presets already, or you can set it to custom, and you can even do better low-light performance with this little moon icon up here. And then you have motion lapse, and this is where you can get time-lapses from like left to right, right to left, or you can even have up to four different custom waypoints that you could set up, and then it will do those waypoints, which is pretty awesome to play with. All right, so check this out. On this side, if you hit this button, then you have three creative shot modes. One where it will automatically detect a face and start tracking it, which is really handy if you just wanna get a really quick shot and it just tracks someone right away. Then you also have this dynamic framing where you can quickly switch focus and you can follow like with active track, but like maybe not in the center, but like on the sides. And then you have the spin shot where you can get a 90 degree or that 180 degree inception shot. And not only that, like it'll stay upside down. So you can use this for a lot of creative shots. And there's even more that you can do when you connect it to your smartphone and use the Mimo app. But you know, we'll have to save some of that for a future video. Yeah, this is a long video. There's just so much to talk about. And my job here isn't to convince you to go out and buy this thing, but I really feel like these are gonna sell really fast. And yes, DJI did send this to me and I'm very grateful to all of you guys watching and helping support this channel. But even though they sent it to me, one thing I like to think about is whether I would buy this if I didn't have this right now. And yes, I would certainly buy this. I think that this would be very beneficial to someone like me. The more I was playing with it, the more I was going, I love this thing. This thing is so great. Like it's perfect for me, just like a consumer, someone that likes to travel a lot, someone that likes to make little product videos, you know, if I wanna get some really cool and creative shots. And there's just so much love about it and I have so much B-roll. Everything that I shot with it just looks so good and it's like impossible to put it all in this video. But I will be making some more videos on the Pocket 3 and highlighting some other great features that it has. So stay tuned for that. And again, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mr. Black.